Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do part three, I believe, of my... Um, my so Model Zone sent me some stuff. Some, um, like, what is it stuff? What's it called now? Poly gel kind of stuff. Did my nails. That video should already be up. And I then did a design on this hand, which this should already be up. And Madam Glam sent me these. So I'm going to use the other Madam Glam colours from this set, <coughs> which are these two here. And they are called Feast Your Nails and the Sweater Weather. So I'm going to use them and then I'm going to use a bit of red and some red chrome because I wanted to have, I wanted to do a bit of red on this hand and have a bit of like, like really go for the Christmas vibes, a little bit more so than on the other hand. <clears throat> I'm going to just gradually build up the Christmasiness. So they're not going to be me mega Christmas here, but you could probably wear them, like, whenever. But there's going to be a bit of a Christmas feel to them, so that's the plan anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go straight in, and these are the two colours from the, the Madame Glam set that I'm going to use. So thank you so much for Madame Glam for sending me these, because I'm super excited. So, right, let's see. I'm going to do this on the baby finger. Um, this isn't like very comfortable. Hang on, I think last time, did I just kind of go like this? There's gold chrome everywhere because I've just done my other hand. And literally, if you've used it, then you'll know it goes everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one on here. <gasps> oh, I like it. Oh yes, I do like this color. These polishes are really, like, really easy to work with. The pink one was quite thick, but so far, this one and the grey are really easy to work with. Um, this one's going to be red chrome, so let's go in with the Gelux. This is in the shade Oriental Poppy. Now, these are very thin, so I'm probably going to need, like, five coats of this one. I'm hoping, because I'm putting chrome on it, that I'll get away with it. Oh, that's fine. That isn't even that bad at all. What am I on about? No, this will be fine because it's got... I'm literally just using this as a base to put the chrome powder over, so... I'm happy with it. Sorry if you can hear some crinkling. It's my kitty cat being a little monkey. Um, This one, I'm going to use the other colour. Oh, gosh, I'm going to run into my cuticles. Oh, oh, this one's not as opaque. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing two coats of these anyway. But this one doesn't seem... That, that one was quite more a bit more opaque -y. Now, these are quite similar. I wanted to get away with um, doing a marble on the middle finger, but are they too similar, do you think? It's going to have the red in it, so I think it'll be fine. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do again. The red on the thumb. Wow, I love that red. I don't even want to put chrome on it. Oh my god. Go on, Gelux. Smashing it with this red. I've had these colours for so long. And I bought them secondhand as well, so imagine how old they are. <laughs> so old. For some reason, I'm really shaky. That's not good. That's all right. That's okay. You're going to pump our gas someday. Right, I'm going to cure these. Right, so I went in and I did another two coats of this. I just felt like I really wanted to make sure that you could really see the colour and I went in and did another two coats. So now what I'm going to do, I haven't top coated or anything on the red, but I'm going to just go straight in with this chrome because I think it's going to work. So I've kind of had a little go there. hope you can see. And I'm just going to pat it in and see what it looks like. Oh my god, I love it. Now I'm tempted to do a fade just because the red is so nice. I am actually really tempted to do a fade instead of a full chrome. But that's what I did on the other hand. But I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? I can still do it. Let's have a look.
Wow, this this is so nice. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is it's not going to be really stuck on. When I come to top coat, I'm going to struggle. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to do the full nail. How cool does that look? Oh, I love it. I'm going to do the full nail. We're going to have the, the red without the glitter in the marble part of it. And obviously, as you can see, I'm not rubbing, I'm I'm pressing it in because I want the glitter effect. I don't want it to be chromey. If you want it chromey, you want to use a no wipe top coat and then rub it in. But I am feeling glittery today, girls and boys. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, I really, really like that. Right, next one. I have um, <coughs> I have taken the sticky layer off the other nails because I didn't want them to get covered in glitter, which is what always ends up happening. So that's just a little tip for you there. So the last part we're going to do is going to be the marble. Oh, please let this flipping top cut. Okay. I'm a little bit worried, guys. I feel like this would look really good with a matte top coat. But I actually don't have any matte top coats. So it's going to have to be a shiny one. But I'm interested to see if it goes really, like, shiny glittery. I'm just going for it, by the way. I'm just like literally whacking loads on because I want it to raise it out. Now, this is a glittery, this is a Christmas nail. For show. Yes. Okay. Let's see what happens when we dust it off because obviously it's not full, like proper stuck down. Okay, I think that's all right. I'm hoping that when I go in with a top coat it's going to be okay so i do think it's probably a wise idea to do the marble top coat them all and then top coat the the what is it one last because come on it's going to get covered in glare in it let's be real oh my god i love it oh, i absolutely flipping love that red so much oh come on focus 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 Right, so marble, marble time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two colours that we've used and the red as well. And now these two colours are very similar, so I'm not 100% sure what this is going to end up looking like, but we're going to give it a go. They're also not as opaque as um, I found that the grey on the other hand was. I feel like it looks really, really dark. Does it look really, really dark, guys? Please do leave me a comment down below and let me know. It shouldn't do. So I've got my light on on that. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit closer to the camera, maybe. Yeah, see, these are really similar. I'm hoping that it'll, like, show through, though, with the um, marble. Because they're not exactly the same at all, by any means. It's just when you're marbling, it can be quite difficult if you use two colours that are really similar. Yeah, they are quite similar, so we'll see. Bit of a blob over here. I hope I'm in focus, guys. I'm so sorry if I'm not. And then... Swirl! I don't know why, but I'm really shaky today. I've not eaten yet. Maybe it's something to do with that. Oh, 
This brush is a bit of a mess. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to... <gasps> I'm really shaking! Can you see it? Is it showing on camera how shaky I am? What the heck? I've usually got quite a good hand, to be fair. That's a bit worrying. Just a little bit here where there's nothing there. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's gone actually quite well. You can see the difference in the shade. So I'm going to cure that. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with the Madame Glam Soak Off Top Coat. This set did come with a top coat and a base coat, by the way, guys. And I'm going to do all the non-glittery nails first. Which I'm sure you will all agree is a very good idea. I did use this on the other hand. So I'm hoping it's not covered in gold glitter. I think it's alright though. Seems alright. Oh. Look at that marble. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some better lighting for you guys at the end. Don't you worry. I'm hoping that it's just my eyes and or it's just like the screen that I'm using and it doesn't actually look as bad as it does to me. Because it doesn't normally, so I don't know what's going on. There's a little bit of glitter on here, but... Right, oh God, here we go. Hang on, I've got something to wipe it off on. I'm going to need it, aren't I? Definitely. <gasps> Honestly, it looks so good. Let me just try and dust it a little bit more, just in case. But I don't want to dust the glitter off. That's what I'm worried about. Um, right, are we going? We're going for it. We're going for it. Oh my god, I'm scared. <gasps> oh my god. Look how glittery it is. Holy crap. Yes. Oh, I love it. <gasps> I'm in love. I'm doing this again. Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Oh, I've just ruined everything, guys. <laughs> I just put it back in without wiping it off. Sugar. There's glitter everywhere. Shine. Shine, shine, shine. Not good. I've ruined my life, but look at that. Right, let me just cure this and then I'll try to sort it all out. Right, guys, so, oh my God. This is the finished result. I did do an extra top coat on the glitter nails. I am, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm obsessed. It looks so freaking good. I don't think it's going to come off as good on camera as it actually looks in real life. But <laughs> anyway, this is the set. I do love the marble nail as well. I mean, can I zoom? Ah. Look at that flipping glare. How is it so good? I just like, ah. Oh. It is so good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It looks like it's like, um, you know, like when you see gold in liquid form, it looks like that, but red. Like, it, it looks, I, can't, I don't even know how to explain it. It doesn't look like glitter. It looks like metallic. I don't even know. I don't even know, but this is the finished result, you guys. We've got the marble nail as well. These are the two colours from Madame Glam. I wanted to get some videos out for Madame Glam because they were so kind to send me the stuff. Um, this isn't sponsored, by the way, or anything like that. They just sent me some stuff to try out, and I'm really, really pleased with it. The top coat is very shiny. Like, come on. Whoa, look how shiny it is. Look how that line just, like, slides off my nail. <laughs> Oh, I'm very easily pleased, but I'm very impressed with um, 
with this top coat. I have to say, it's very, very shiny. So that is the finished result, you guys. If you are new here, please do hit the subscribe button. There's going to be lots more videos to come and lots more Christmassy ones and hopefully a video every day for Vlogmas. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!